And welcome in my ASVAB party people, Coach Anderson here. Hopefully you're doing well today. I got a question for you real quick before we do this problem, and it's about the problem. Have you ever been in a situation where you might recognize what you're trying to do, like find the area, and then you notice rectangle, but the problem is you don't know what to actually do with the area of the rectangle. Like you know the formula, you know how to plug things in, but we added just a little more information that makes things confusing. Have you ever been in that situation? Well, almost everybody has. So pay attention closely in this video. I got your back. And really quick before we get started, remember that we have our Memorial Day sale starting actually today on Wednesday, and it goes through the rest of the week. So go ahead and check out the link in the description if you're trying to raise your score to get the job you want. Let's go ahead and get started, everybody. So the question is, what is the area of the picture within the frame? So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. What is the area of the picture? And again, within the frame. So in order to really visualize this the right way, let me you know, not try to calculate first. Let's go ahead and go from the question, which we just did, to now the information that's going to help us make a connection. So here, you have a rectangular picture frame that measures 10 inches wide by 8 inches tall. Okay, let's go ahead and just draw something like that. So I'll have a nice rectangle. Okay, great. And so again, we say it's 10 inches wide. So I'll just put 10 inches right there and then eight inches tall. Cool. And then from there we read the frame itself is two inches wide on all sides. What's the area of the picture inside or within the frame? So we have to draw that out. So allow me to go ahead and help you visualize this even more by changing the color inside. I'll make the frame brown and then allow me to draw the picture inside of the frame. Give me one moment here. There we go. And we'll put that right there. So here's what the problem is trying to tell us, my party people. Here's what it is. And it's going to be really straightforward. I gotcha. So what we're saying is, you know, the big frame, it is again, 10 inches wide eight inches tall, but then this is the part that we really want to pay attention to. The frame itself is two inches wide on all sides. What does that mean? It means this. Let me grab a nice green color and zoom on in. It means that this right here, that's two inches. This over here, two inches. That's what they mean. The frame itself, two inches wide on all sides, and that includes this over here. I know it's not drawn to scale. I know that this looks a little bigger than this, but this is just a diagram for demonstration purposes. All right. So it's going to be two inches right there and two inches over here. That's what they're trying to tell us. Okay. My party people, we're trying to say that the frame is two inches on all sides. But remember, what is it that we're looking for again? I heard the word area. We see that it says, what is the area? But we're looking for the area of the picture. Not the area of the frame, but the picture inside of the frame. And it's a rectangle. So what are we supposed to do here? Well, my party people, just remember, if we're trying to find the area, and again, it's going to be the area of the picture itself, just so we'll make sure we don't forget, it's going to be the length times the width. That's what we're going to do. So how do we find the length and the width? Super easy. Here's my... Uh, length right here, 10 inches. We know we're going to remove two inches from this side, remove two inches from that side. So what happens when we do that, everybody? Well, what we're going to have is that 10 and we're going to subtract two, subtract two, and that's going to be six total inches from here to the edge and here, there. How does that make sense? Well, remember, if it's two inches here and two inches there, what's six inches plus two plus two? That's 10. So again, I'm really taking my time here to help you visualize this word problem here because it's an area word problem for sure, but it's also a little deeper than that where you have to actually look at what's happening and make good decisions. So we have our length. What is our width going to be up here? Well, hey, we have eight inches from top to bottom. If we cut out two inches from up top and the two inches from down here, what's eight? Take away two, take away two. That'll be four. So booyah, we have four inches right there from the top of the picture to the bottom. And there we have it. 
we're good to go. And this problem is actually going to be very straightforward because we have six times four. There's our length. There's our width. And we're good. Six times four. That'll be 24 square inches. And there we are, my math party people. That's our answer right there. Answer choice A. So like I said, my party people, go ahead, shoot us a text. There it is right there. If you're trying to raise your score and you're trying to take advantage of our holiday sale, you should. It's the best program in the nation, and we're here to help you get the score you want and the job you deserve. My name's Coach Anderson. As always, if we helped you out, drop a like and a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. You guys are awesome. Hope you're having a great day.